hello. Today I'm going back out on the 14. There's a bit more wind than last time. Probably, I don't know, somewhere between 12 and 16 knots. And gonna do more tacking practice uh, to see if I can do it and what I can find out about tacking this bad boy in a bit more wind. Let's rock. Okay, it's just taking her off the mooring. Taking the mooring towards the back of the boat to help us bear away from the wind. And off we go. Put some downhaul on. You'll put the downhaul, a reasonable amount of downhaul, but not masses, it's not so windy. So let's call that just over half. All right, let's have the stick. And here we go. Yes, that's right. It's Joe here for Joyrider TV on the Hobie 14, Vasiliki Bay. And uh, gonna see if we can tack the boat in a bit more wind. Um, it's quite gusty, so we might be in and out on the trapeze quite a lot which is also good practice. I've just made some new trapeze wires, so it'll be also good to see if um, if, that, if they break, <laughs> and uh, that would be a bad day. All right, so we're just gonna start off by going downwind a bit to give us a bit of upwind space to do this tacking practice. Yeah, wind's gusty, but quite frisky um, which uh, you've got to love a frisky bit of wind all right yeah it feels good oh sticking the nose in already nice I think I'm treating it like there's less wind than there is which is foolish because that could end up in an early bath um, right So here's a very quick tip, make sure if it's windy, you've got your ratchet swick, switched on. That's off, that's on, because otherwise you get no clicking noise and everybody loves the clicking noise. All right, so we just stopped there. So how are we gonna get moving in this wind? I think, same as before to get moving with any sort of speed it's going to be a push push pull pull so I'm pushing the boom pushing the rudders and then when we stop going backwards if it was still going backwards okay I'm even going to go across to the leeward side a little bit to encourage the boat off the wind a bit more I'll straighten the rudders up a little bit. Okay, and I think we're going forwards there. So I'll just give the main sheet a little, a little in and out, one little pump in and then a release. Because that little pump, that little uh, sheet in there, it just sends the boat forwards a bit, which is good to get a bit of grip with the rudders all right so if the trapeze line snaps here i'll end up on the harbour wall so i'm just going to sit in for a minute till we're beyond the harbour wall so then at least we've got a bit of a fighting chance if it does break not but i think it will break i have got ultimate trust in my uh dyneema splicing abilities but um, it wasn't a new piece of rope. So who can, who, who can say? All right. Yeah, I think we just got to go for it, haven't we? All right, just having a hang. How does the hang feel? Hang feels like it hasn't broken yet. I'm still quite new to the rope trapeze lines. Find it difficult to uh, get 
totally, um, uh, what's the word, uh, confident with them. But perhaps after this session, we'll have a bit more confidence. Okay, so we're not getting the main block to block because the mast's a little bit more upright on this particular 14 and because the Evo mainsail we've got on here, uh, perhaps the boom isn't quite as low naturally, the foot's a little bit higher, um, which is why we have got a bit of a space there um, with the main sheet. Okay, we have got the GPS running as well, which, uh, just reset that. Okay. All right, bit of a lull. See that windward shroud flexing? That means we should really be back on the boat. But there is another gust coming, so uh, we're gonna stay out. They come forwards a bit as well. Nice. All right, so I think we'll start off with our tacking, coming onto the boat first and then going for the tack. And then hopefully if that's working all right, then we'll start throwing the tacks from the trapeze. All right, so I'm gonna come in first, clearing up my ropes a bit, just keeping the boat moving. Just steered a little bit there as I came in. All right, so here we go, sheeted in quite tight there. Loads of main sheet out. Okay, first tack and we've stalled. Perhaps I was a bit hasty going across the boat. So again, this sheeting in a bit and then sheeting out just to shoot the boat forwards a little bit to get going again. Seems to be reasonably effective. All right. So that is zero to us and one to the failed tack. All right, out on the trapeze. And we'll just get going a bit and then we'll go for another one. All right, here we go. So coming in, gonna start tacking there sheeting out the main, staying on this side. Okay, so we're going backwards already. Coming forwards a bit, just to, oh my goodness, that was messy. My goodness gracious me. We're just not very good at this yet. But that's what practice is for, to improve. Okay. We'll go out on the trapeze. It's all part of the exercise. All right, and we'll come in this time and get the boat going really nicely before going for the next tack. All right, so coming back in. Yeah, because I'm heading up a little bit as I'm coming in, which isn't very tasteful. All right, sheeting in a bit. And gonna initiate the tack there. Yeah, no good. All right, so, so far that's uh, not zero and three on the tacks. There we go, just that little pump to get the uh, boat moving forwards. Yeah, it's quite a good bit of wind now. It's got me at least 15 knots here. So we'll go for another tack this time. I won't bother with trapezing just so that we go for it a bit quicker. Loads of main sheet in. And here we go. Okay, I think maybe i held the main sheet in for a bit too long there but that time we didn't actually go backwards at all 
And then although the boat wasn't moving when we went through, uh, just had to have a little bit of faith that pulling the main sheet in again was going to shoot us forwards a bit. Okay, let's go for another one. I'll, I'll let the main sheet out a little bit earlier this time. Phone's ringing, which is hilarious. Okay, yeah, I brought my phone with me today just in case. Um, okay, here we go. Uh, main sheet off there. Oh yeah, there we go. We shot through like a ferret up a drain pipe there. Very nice. Um, I'd say that is the whole point of the exercise to do four bad ones and one which we actually feel is pretty good. All right, so keeping the main sheet in just for a second too long is what's been really uh, holding us back. The other thing that I'm looking out for in this wind is spending too much time at the back of the boat. If we go to the back of the boat for too long, we're gonna capsize backwards, plain and simple. All right, let's go for another one. Applying what we've learned, here we go. And main sheet off, getting across the boat. Feels good, sheeting in, sheeting out if we feel that we're not going forwards. Oh, come on. Just coaxing her to get it going again. I think the mast not rotating isn't helping because our uh, mast base on this particular 14 is quite worn so it over rotates and then refuses to, to rotate, would you believe? Too much and then not enough. All right, let's go for another one. Here we go and initiating sheet out, loads of sheet out, getting around the boat and There we go, I'd say that was the best one yet, which is what we're looking for. I'm not even keeping score now, I think it's 3-3, three, three, uh, which is good. So sheeting out too late is the main culprit for the bad tack so far. All right, ready for another one. And here we go. All right, we had to go into reverse that time. Just when we think we've kind of got it, the 14 reminds us that we haven't got it. But that's the whole point. Oh man, all right. Just keeping it out. Boat's turned a few more degrees off the wind. So we're just going for that little pump to get a bit of forward motion. Let's get the rudders moving. Okay. Yes, the mast didn't rotate again. Not that I'm blaming it on the mast not rotating, but it does feel like uh, that does hold us up from getting going again. All right, so here we go. This, we'll do two more, I think. And going in there, releasing. Okay, that was definitely the best one we've done. No doubt about it. Okay, the last one will go out on the trapeze first. Hooking on. Hanging over the edge, it's quite gusty, but I think there's enough breeze. And we'll actually initiate this one from out on the trapeze, uh, just to see what happens could be a foolish manoeuvre. All right, and here we go. Hmm, yeah, it didn't, didn't go so well. I think we'll agree. Can we agree there? All right, so that was, how many tacks was that? That must have been about eight or so and uh, we had a couple of good ones, so that's a good start. So, uh, yeah, I think. Just 
coming off the wind. Wind is pretty shifty as well. Hate to say it, but some of the good ones could have been down to the fact that we were tacking just as the wind was coming round, meaning that uh, we were getting the wind shift assisting us so we didn't have to turn as far. All right, so we'll go downwind now and have a look at a few jibes. I'm gonna travel out a bit, just beyond the toe strap, sailing by watching the telltales at the front, keeping those at 90 degrees. All right, there's a nice looking gust coming. So what we'll do is we'll take the gust and just get it so that we've got the speed from the gust, which is gonna take the pressure off the rig. Um, we could have just jibed in a lull, but where would be the fun in that? All right, so there's the gust, and here we go. Going across the boat first. Oh, bit of a wind shift. Okay, yeah, not much wind for the exciting jibe just there, but maybe we will get some. Yeah, so if you're wondering, we're sailing in uh, Vasiliki Bay on the island of Lefkus out of Wild Wind Sailing Holidays, which is opening on July the 1st. If you can get here and you need a catamaran to stand on the side of, then uh, we'll be able to sort you out. And if you're wondering about the temperature, Today, just for a bit of protection and a little bit of warmth, I've got the 1.5 mil long john. Rocking the uh, Zero Shoes Colorados, which I have to say, the grip is ridiculous. So good. Um, I think these are quickly becoming my favorite sailing shoes, although they're not designed as sailing shoes. Um, and they've got the Magic Marine Smart Harness, which that will always be the same. Right, let's go for another jibe. So just making sure our angle's good. Nice big fat juicy gust there, which is definitely good. Going in with confidence. Little bow dip there, because we went in with confidence, but not a huge amount of speed. All right, we'll get a bit more speed on and then go for the next one. Try to stay in this gust. Okay, and here we go. A bit more speed that time. Yeah, making for a much better jibe. But we don't want to get the speed by coming up really high um, because that's going to mean our jibing angle is larger. And we don't want a larger jibing angle now, do we now? Now, do we? Now. Okay, and if we look at like we're dipping the bows in. Just gonna ease a bit of main sheet and bear away from the wind. Oh, a bit of a wave here. Yeah, just like in Hawaii, sharing the wind. Uh, no, not really. Okay, coming up a bit. Just keep the apparent wind on 90 degrees. Staying quite close to the back of the boat, uh, even though for this amount of wind right now, we should be further forwards, but it's quite gusty. And uh, she's feeling a little bit nosy. Well, it could stick the nose in. All right, so we're gonna go back downwind and have one more run upwind uh, with some more tacks. And then one more run downwind with some more jibes. But of course, if the wind fills in nicely, uh, we'll go for some speed, got the GPS on. Top speed today, 13 knots. Okay. All right, bit of a gust coming. The gusts are coming from back here. Or when it's a bit windier, they'll be coming more from round here as we go faster. All right, so just bringing her downwind. And here we go, coming in and entering the jibe with confidence. It's the confidence that makes the good jibes possible when it's windy. If you go in for a jibe without much confidence when it's windy, it's not gonna, it's probably gonna be a pretty slammy jibe. All right, how are we looking? Next gust coming up, I think. 
so that'll be our time for the next jibe and then we'll start going upwind again all right here we go come on wind and come on wind come on wind okay wind did come on after a bit of coaxing all right so into the middle cross nice yeah that was that was a good one all right so we'll start heading up gonna bring the traveler in a bit just have it like about an inch off the center line for this wind sheeting in and we're hooked on but there's not quite enough breeze to get out just yet oh there's a gust coming yeah that's that is our cue to go okay a little bit light but there's another gust coming so just bending the knees get a bit closer to the boat here comes the gust when we get going we'll take a look see what our upwind um boat speed is in the gust I think that's interesting get forwards a bit more very easy to find yourself too far back being a bit lazy at the back of the boat so here we are keeping the boat as flat as possible in a forwards backwards uh, trajectory can we say that um, if we're too far back we're just going to be dragging the back of the boat and not benefiting from the hull length which is after all what gives us our maximum speed right bit of a lull gust coming gust with a header oh we're actually lifting the hull there a bit and Ten knots there. All right, so we'll go for attack. Just going to uncleat the main as I come in. Try to keep our keep the boat going as we come in. Oh man, that was just messy. The Hobie 14 really punishes you. Every bad bit of boat handling you've got up your sleeve. It's not like the bigger boats that just hide it. Um, the 14 just says, "No, nah, that wasn't very good." Right, so we'll go for a a stationary tack there just by cranking the main in pulling it out there we go we're going through so as we found before one good way of getting going if we're stalled is just to go for attack by cranking the main in and then once we've cranked the main in and the boat starts turning into the wind then uh it's the same as if uh, we'd initiated it normally, except we're less likely to come out with any speed. But that's all right, as long as we get going at all. Okay, all right, let's try a bit more finesse this time. So, it's coming off the trapeze. I'm gonna reach down as far as I can and then really bend the arm as we come in. Better, there we go. So reaching down first and bending the arm meant it was easier to hold our course the same. All right, let's go for this tack. Getting ready to sheet out. Initiating and sheeting out just there. Keeping the rudders in position. And tacked into a bit of a hole. Just having to do a kind of a little bit of a pump to get going. And we've definitely stalled. So pushing it out and we're off as soon as we feel the boat going forwards then we can steer which means we can sheet in all right hooking on sheeting in so, so to go out on the trapeze i'm moving back slightly which is effectively shortening the length of the trapeze Make it a bit easier to get out. Okay. V 
This is what happens when you spend all of your time just going for speed runs on a broad reach and uh, never practicing any maneuvers. So uh, that's right, kids, practice your maneuvers. Uh, don't just go for the speed, although speed is definitely fun. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna come in, try this good technique again. So go reach as far down as we can reach. Come in bending the arm. Yeah, so that was that was pretty good, I thought. Okay, flying the hole there a bit. And we'll go for the tack. Sheeting out, staying on this side, because as we found before, ah, oh, no good, no good, no good, no good. All right, is it wrong to finish the session without winning every time? Yeah, I, I don't think it's wrong. I think that's just how it is. That means we're gonna have to come and do it again another time. But this wind is looking pretty guff as we get closer to the mountain. So we're gonna turn the boat downwind now and head back towards HQ. And a bit of patience involved. Main sheet out, rudders the other way. If we let the traveler out as well, and actually do this properly, we come up, look how fast we come away from the wind there. A lot faster. So there we go. Uh, don't be lazy. Laziness could result in you not having a result. All right, bit of wind here actually. I might just go for a little bit of pace and some sort of death defying uh, wire to wire jive sort of motif. If there's enough wind for it. Yeah, it's really patchy today. Oh yeah, that's much better. I prefer the reach. Bit of a lull coming forwards in the lull. Bit of a gust coming up. So get ready to sort of jump back in the gust. And then we'll go for the speed. So we've got like 11 and a half knots there. Okay, if we, don't know what would be good today, maybe if we could get like 17, I think that would be uh, healthy. All right, here we go, here comes the gust, bit of a wind shift with it. So we'll get right to the back, in the position. Once again, I have to say, these shoes are gripping so well, better than the, the proper boots, which I know sounds unfeasible, but it's true. All right, so coming forwards a bit in the lulls, back in the gusts, playing the main sheet as well. By playing the main sheet, we know where the limit is. This is a good gust. Fair play to this gust. Uh, Oh yeah, oh lovely, nice, 17.26, so we have achieved our goal. All right, juicy gust there. All right, so I'm gonna come in. Okay, poor technique with the tiller extension, let's not do that, we're doing this properly. I'm gonna take the boat downwind onto our broad reach first. Before we go for the jibe. And here comes the jibe. Okay. And now we've got a glory reach back in. Nice. Oh, that was pretty good. All right. Oh, all right, let's bring it up a little bit. Nice gust coming down. Should be able to get a bit of pace here. Feels good. Just try to sheet in whenever we can. 
just eke a bit more pace out, but also to have a bit more to give when we need to give it. Well, we're dipping the bow in a bit there. Maybe the mast's a little bit too upright. All right, this is, this is really quite pleasant. Uh, but I've got to go in because I've got a live stream to do, uh, as uh, seems to be quite normal these days. All right, so how do we get back in to the boat from this position? Well, we could just wait for a hole like that, but what I do is I just have my back foot still on the hull, so we're nice and far back. Then in onto the boat. Woo! That was fun. All right, let's just check the stats. Top speed 18.38. That was good. Yeah. Did everyone else enjoy that? Put it in the comments below if you enjoyed that. That little reach, it definitely um, puts the fun in where you took it out by failing a load of tacks. I think that's probably a good, a good uh, way to do your training exercise is do a load of tacks, but make sure you do something which is just plain fun during your session as well. Right, we're going for a jibe. Here we go. Uh, just so that the overall impression of the session was, it was great fun. But even getting tax wrong, it's still sailing and it's still fun. Um, and you're learning all the time. As long as you don't treat a failed tack with, uh, the worst thing that could possibly happen on the boat ever. Um, how Devastation. Don't be devastated by a failed tack. Uh, it's all part of the game. Just see anything that goes wrong as an opportunity to analyze it and to uh, work out what it was that you could have done better and then do it better. All right, so coming in over the fairly shallow sandbar. We're gonna come up to our mooring. Here we go. So just gonna poke it up into the wind there. And we'll put the boat on the mooring. It's going to be a lot easier to um, get the trolley. Oh yeah. Okay, so thanks for watching. Hope that has been, uh, had some kind of uh, value to it. And um, perhaps you're with me on this learning experience here. Of course, this, the techniques that the 14 requires are like the extremes from any catamaran. So if you're sailing a different boat, it's all the same, but just not as much. Uh, so there you go. Thanks to everybody who's been supporting the channel. Head over to totaljawrider.com. Get yourself some clothes if you haven't got any clothes uh, or uh, head over to Patreon if um, you love what I'm doing uh, or you think there's a lot of value in what I'm doing and you'd like to see it continue in the future forever more then uh, Patreon is the place uh, so thanks very much and we'll see you next time with some more great stuff on Joyrider TV don't forget to give the video a like and subscribe if you're not yet subscribed. Thank you.